Welcome to the ORCID Advisors Compliance Training Series, Firearm Marking Control, Timing of Markings. The ATF White Book requires that each firearm be uniquely marked with manufacturer, model, serial number, and caliber, amongst other detail. Specific product marking guidance can be found in Section 478.92a of the White Book, entitled, How Must Firearms Be Identified? This section of the regulations is fairly straightforward and is described in the remainder of this and additional videos. In January 2012, the ATF issued Ruling 2012-1 to assist the industry in further understanding the agency's expectations and the industry's responsibilities regarding product marking. The ruling says, for completed firearms, including finished frames and receivers that will be sold, shipped, or disposed of separately, markings must be made within seven days from the date of completion. Completion can be generally defined as pre-packaging but no remaining manufacturing operations. A firearm frame or receiver not built into a complete weapon when sold, shipped, or otherwise disposed of must be fully marked with all of the required information. Special consideration should be given for engineering samples and firearms made out of alternative materials during the research and development process. It is important to note the following highlighted areas from the 2012-1 ruling. Under the regulations, firearms required to be marked at the time of manufacture include both complete weapons and complete frames or receivers of such weapons that are to be sold, shipped, or otherwise disposed of separately. Because firearm frames and receivers to be sold, shipped, or disposed of separately do not have a barrel at the time they are marked, pursuant to 478.92A2, all of the information required by 478.92A1 must be placed on the frame or receiver unless an alternate means of identification is approved under Section 478.92A4. The model designation and the caliber or gauge may be omitted without a variance if that information is unknown at the time the firearm frames or receivers are marked. Thank you for watching this segment of our video training series. Viewers are encouraged to seek professional advice prior to assessment, implementation, or execution.